My name is Tim Burkhart. I am a resident of Chetwin, BC in traditional Treaty 8 territory and I work for the Yellowstone to Yukon Conservation Initiative. And I'm here to talk to you today about Peace Boudreau right behind us. So we just had a great day paddling on the river and we paddle along a beautiful stretch of landscape from about Hudson's Hope to Taylor, BC here in the Peace that the entire southerly bank is supposed to be a provincial park. Now First Nations have used this landscape, recognized its value and importance both spiritually, culturally and economically for tens of thousands of years since time immemorial. It's also a special part of settler heritage for settler societies as well. Just upriver here is the Rocky Mountain Fort, the very first European settlement in mainland British Columbia. And in 1969, the landscape behind me here, the Peace Boudreaux region, the southerly bank of the Peace River, was designated a land reserve for its special features, for its ecological value, for its wildlife values. Then fast forwarding ahead to about 20 years ago in the 1990s, communities around the Peace got together, started land use planning, a process that resulted in the land and resource management plans, guidelines for how we would treat the landscape over the next couple of decades. And a big part of both the Dawson Creek and Fort St. John land use and resource management plans was the designation of the Peace Boudreaux as a provincial park, class A protected area for future generations to enjoy. So why is this so special? Why has this particular stretch of land been recognized for so long by so many different groups and communities? Well, it's because it's a nursery. It's a nursery for wildlife. For migratory birds endangered like the Canadian warbler and for the trumpeter swans that nest in the pothole lakes up above the plateau. For the black bears that den in the wintertime and for the ungulates, the, the moose and elk and deer who all calve on the islands in the river in the springtime. All of this makes this particular ecosystem, this eco-section it's called, the Peace Lowlands, a really special place. And in British Columbia, this kind of landscape has only about 0.4% of it has been protected. And unfortunately, 20 years has gone by since that recommendation was made. No provincial legislation has gone through to designate Peace Boudreaux the park it needs to be to preserve this landscape and represent the will of our communities and First Nations here. So the government is finally starting to take notice. The pr through the pressure of groups like Y2Y and First Nations allies here in the Peace, Peace Boudreaux is on the docket for the spring 2018 legislature. It's going to be designated a provincial park at last, about 20, 22 years late, but it's happening. But unfortunately, a big part of it is gonna be lost. If the Site C Dam goes ahead, 30% of Peace Boudreaux would be flooded. And that 30% has already been taken out of the park. It's unfair that the process the, the goodwill that our communities put into the land and resource management plans is being ignored and, and removed from this landscape specifically. 30% is significant, but it's especially significant when it's that nursery itself that's being flooded, that's being removed from the park boundary, and it's just unacceptable. We shouldn't settle for less. This would be the very first park created in Northeast BC in over a decade, and it should be the intact park as it was recommended in the land and resource management plans. Well, we're really hopeful with a ground swell of support from First Nations, local communities and beyond, recognizing that this particular landscape is really special, it's really important. We think that we can get the government to change its mind on that 30%. We think that they should make it up elsewhere regardless of the decision on the Site C Dam, but ultimately rejecting Site C and protecting this landscape is the best option. Now, moving, at, moving forward, we wanna see that 30%, those islands, the, the, the calving grounds for ungulates where they have their babies in the spring protected for future generations of both wildlife and people to enjoy. Our communities recreate on these, on these waters. We hunt and fish and use this landscape as it was meant to be used, not flooded and left barren. So with your support, we'll be asking during the consultations period coming up this fall in 2017 for letters, for emails, for contact to your representatives, make Peace Boudreaux whole. Keep it wild and keep it intact. Thanks so much.